Newton Raphson method helps us to find out root of f of x equals 0 using Newton Raphson formula which is given by xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn upon f dash of xn. This is also known as Newton's formula. We can obtain this formula using the Taylor series expansion. Suppose alpha is the exact root of equation f of x equals 0. Consider x0 which lies in the neighborhood of original root alpha or you can consider x0 as an approximation to the exact root alpha. If h is a very small quantity, when you consider x0 plus h, you will either get a better approximation to the root alpha or x0 plus h may be coinciding with alpha itself. If x0 plus h equals alpha, we will have f of x0 plus h equals 0 because alpha being the root of f of x equals 0 will satisfy the equation f of x equals 0. Whenever alpha equals x0 plus h, we will have f of x0 plus h equals 0. Otherwise, if x0 plus h is not the exact root but it is just a better approximation to the root alpha, then we will have f of x0 plus h is approximately equal to 0. We can expand f of x0 plus h using Taylor series expansion. We have f of x0 plus h equals f of x0 plus h times f dash of x0 plus h square by 2 factorial times f double dash of x0 plus etc. Since h is a very small quantity, you can neglect the higher powers h square, h cube, h raised to 4 etc. And hence, we have the Taylor series expansion written as f of x0 plus h times f dash of x0. Since f of x0 plus h is equal to 0 or approximately equal to 0, we can have the equation f of x0 plus h times f dash of x0 equals 0. From this expression, we will get h equals minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0. From this expression of h, notice that Whenever f dash of x is a very large quantity, we will have h obtained as a very small quantity. That is, in order to maintain h as a very small quantity, slope of the function f of x which is f dash of x must be very very large. This guarantees that Newton Raphson method gives us a better result whenever slope of the given function f of x is very large. We have x1 equals x0 plus h and h equals minus f of x0 upon f dash of x0 from which we obtain x1 equals x0 minus f of x0 by f dash of x0. We have just given h equals minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0 to obtain this first approximation to the root alpha. We have x2 equals x1 plus h. When you expand f of x1 plus h using Taylor series expansion and equate it to 0 approximately because x1 plus h is also a better approximation to the exact root alpha itself and hence f of x1 plus h can also be considered as approximately equal to 0. By using the same situations of neglecting higher powers of h, we will get f of x1 plus h equals f of x1 plus h times f dash of x1 and this can be equated to 0 from which we get h equals minus f of x1 upon f dash of x1. Using this expression of h, we will have x2 equals x1 plus h rewritten as x2 equals x1 minus f of x1 upon f dash of x1. By looking at these two expressions, you can predict x3 will be of the form x2 minus f of x2 upon f dash of x2. Proceeding like this, we will get xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn upon f dash of xn. You can consider whenever you have f of xn plus h expanded using Taylor series expansion, once you neglect the higher powers of h, you will get f of xn plus h times f dash of xn equated to 0 or approximately equals to 0 from which you get h equals negative f of xn upon f dash of xn. Hence, for any better approximation to the root alpha, xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn upon f dash of xn. From the equation, xn plus 1 equals xn plus h. And this formula is known as Newton-Raphson formula or Newton's formula.